All right, so of course, we all know what we're watching. This is the San Francisco Ballet getting ready to ring in the holidays. The wonderful production of the Nutcracker is uh, set here in our own city by the Bay, kicking off this week and joining us now to talk about the tradition that started in the Bay Area back in 1944. We have one of the performers here, Joseph Walsh. Joseph, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So this is your first time performing in the San Francisco's production of the Nutcracker. It is, yes. And so what can we expect? I mean, I'm sure, you know, every year you make little changes here and there, but what can people expect for this holiday season? Well, I mean, it's been a real pleasure for me to get to know this production of The Nutcracker, and it's a really exciting production. I think that there's a lot of, like, great uh, scenery and uh, special effects that I, I always get really interested by. Um, but besides that, there's just like fantastic choreography and it's a, it's a really fun night for the family. And it's just so beautiful, the costumes, I mean, the way the whole set is designed. And tell us what we're looking at here. Right now we're looking at the, um, uh, the Sugar Plum Fairy dancing with the flowers. Um, and she is performing for Clara in the Kingdom of Sweets. And what is your role in the Nutcracker? Who do you play? Um, I am playing both the Snow King and the uh, prince, the Nutcracker Prince. Mm -hmm. um, and what's it like preparing for the Nutcracker? I mean, you guys put in many hours of training every day. It's a full-time job. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Uh, the Nutcracker is one of those things that it's a constant in the in the ballet world. You can always, uh, you know, thankfully. We, we brought this, uh, San Francisco Ballet brought this in 1944, like you said, and it's literally stuck around since, and like now hundreds of places do it. And uh, I think that it's, it's something that you can always come back to and like realize that the roles are, uh, you know, it's, it's something that you're, you're used to and that you can improve on every year. And many ballet companies across the U.S., across the world, have their own version of the Nutcracker. What do you think makes the San Francisco's version of the Nutcracker just different or stand out? I mean, I think that the fact that it's been around for so long in the city specifically is, is really special. Um, besides the fact that when uh, it was redone in 2004, it's, it's just, uh, it was done with a really special eye, I think, and, and a really interesting take on it. And what do you bring to, to your role and your character? How do you get ready for it, and uh, what sort of inspiration do you, uh, how do you get, how do you, you know, draw your, where do you draw your inspiration from? I mean, uh, every, you know, every prince that there's ever been, you kind of, you always have a little bit of, of each movie that you've seen, every mm -hmm. story that you've read, and you just try to bring a little bit of magic yourself and make the story come to life every night. And this is one of my favorites. The, I think this is where it starts to the snow. The snow scene, yeah. Yeah, the snow scene. What happens in this scene? I mean, I think there's something like a ridiculous amount of like 100 pounds or something a night of, yeah. of snow that falls. But <laughs> um, basically, it's the transition between this uh, really epic battle that happens between the Mouse King and the Nutcracker. And then it transitions into a... Uh, the, the land, the snow kingdom, and uh, it's just um, really intense. It's like, it's a really nice blizzard on yeah. stage. Yeah, well, visually, it's just so stunning to watch. It's just so dramatic, yeah. and it's just so beautiful. I really do love seeing That's like one of my favorite scenes, I think, out of the entire Nutcracker. Yeah. Um, okay, great. So, looks like you have, do you, are there other things going on with the San Francisco Ballet for the holidays, aside from the Nutcracker? Um, I, I think that there's just the, the normal kind of regular things that we do, but uh, right after the Nutcracker is when we start the, the season and we go into um, the gala and then into the remainder of the season. Yeah, so you're kind of kind of a soft kickoff for the opening and then the official opening starts exactly. in January, right? Yeah. Okay, great. And uh, this is obviously one for the kids because it's not super long, the Nutcracker. Oh, yeah. No, this is like the perfect night for uh, the family or, or day, depending. Mm -hmm. And what age group do you think can kids start to go I seeing mean, the Nutcracker? I mean, literally, there's... Every time that we start the the grand pas at the very end of the ballet, there's always a crying baby. Like you can <laughs> you can depend on that. So it's everyone can go. Okay, wonderful. Well, Joseph, thank you so much for joining us. Again, it starts uh, this week, December 12th, runs all the way through the 29th. And you know, when we think of the ballet or the symphony, we always think, oh, it costs too much. We can't take the whole family. But tickets start at $25, so you can take the whole family. You have evening performances. 
of matinees as well. It's of course held at the War Memorial Opera House on Van Ness in San Francisco. And for more information, you can go to sfballet.org.